congratulations on being the owner of the finest turntable in the world. But like any other sophisticated instrument, your turntable has a few basic requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Zo What Morning Show. You know how we do. I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we missed you last week. Zo had some other business to attend to, so we couldn't do a show. But we're back in the building, and I urge you to call us tonight, or today, this morning, 323-965-1600. Zoe What Mornings is comprised of a couple of folk. Of course, I'm the philosopher Zoe Williams, and not everything I say is correct. Jesus. Everybody's complaining, oh, he makes mistakes, and you do too when you talk. Thank you. Anyway, call us. We want to get your opinion on something, because in the second hour, we're going to be talking about God, the reality of God. Does God exist? Is that a real situation or is it a delusion to make us feel better, get us through difficult moments? What's the difference between religion and spirituality? I don't know. I need your opinion. Call us, 323-965-1600. And you know how the show is set up. Uh, I like to go through a lot of current events and topics and stories today, and I want your opinions on that as well. 323-965-1600 is the number two dial. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of everything that's going on right now, I want to introduce my co-host. And while we're waiting on the sec on the third co-host, uh, my brother is in the building. He's a good, good friend of mine. Very smart, intelligent, wise brother. His name is Dr. Mark Goulston, author of Just Listen. And I urge you guys to go out and get his book. It's an incredible book, especially if you need that ever elusive tool to make your relationships much easier. I call that tool conflict resolution. This book will teach you how to become a better listener so you can communicate and connect with your partner. So go get the book. Dr. Mark Goulston in the building. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. You know, I wish I hadn't written Just Listen because everybody, I've become a worse listener. Really? So everyone expects you to listen since I wrote this book. And, and once you get me started, you can't shut me up. So, so it's you really start interrupting. It's, and... it's become a curse. So I, I, <laughs> Uh, I need all the self-help from this book that I can get. <laughs> you got to relearn what you taught in the book. That's great. Listen, Jeff Brown is on his way. Um, he's one of the few people who still drives a horse and carriage, so it's going to take him a minute. But he will be here. The number to dial to contact this guy, I'm going to give you his personal number. It's 323-965-1600. Uh, That's his personal line. Please call Jeff Brown and urge him to get here on time. Uh, before I got a, a little other, a few other things to take care of business wise. I have a new book. I finished it a couple of weeks ago. It's now being edited and developed right now by my editor and publisher. It's crazy. It's called The Relationship Dismount. It's a book about how to properly break up, how to stick the landing. You know, sticking the landing is very important. And metaphorically speaking, in terms of relationships, you hate to bring a lot of relationship debris from the past. So when you stick the landing, that means, bam, it's clean. You're out of it, you know. So it's a great book, and it's being edited right now. Trust me, this February 2013, The Relationship Dismount, uh, I did, uh, let's see, I did 12 chapters in four weeks. So pretty good stuff. Came out pretty well. The next step is The Voice of Reason. Zoe Williams on Foxhole Radio. It's back. We came back last week, last week Thursday, and uh, we'll be back on the air this Thursday. So we're on both rmconair.com. We're on this channel as well as Sirius XM Foxhole 98. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, so I'll be on this Thursday. But we have a new time for The Voice of Reason. It's from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So get at me. If you if you got opinions about the foxhole, if you want to know what's been going on with the foxhole, like if you really want the uncut dirt on what's been going down, call me right now. Three, two, three, nine, six, five, sixteen hundred. I'm not going to pull no punches. If you want ask me anything about what's going on, I'll tell you, you sound like happened. Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger? Now, Schwarzenegger, with, with, with his new book, uh, you know, I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm going to admit to what I did. Get down and now! Learn from it and meet me, at, <laughs> meet me at the mall to buy my book. No, it's real talk, though. Uh, you know, because a lot of the fans out there want to know what's going on with the foxhole. Zoe's going to open up and answer all your questions. No holes barred, uncut. 323-965-1600. Uh, and then the, the next piece of business that I have is I need everybody. In the sound of my voice. 
to, you know, donate to my son. My son, basketball, his program, Santa Monica High School. They have a website called IamAthlete.com forward slash donate. Sam O'Hi, that's S-A-M-O-H-I. Please donate. They need uniforms, shoes, transportation, b- basketballs, all kind of stuff they need. And their season is about to start, and uh, we're pushing. We're pushing. So that's I am athlete.com forward slash donate Sam O'Hi. All right? Get at me. That's the business. 323-965-1600. You're listening to Zoe What Mornings. The Zoe, the doctor, and Jeff Brown. Jeff Brown's on his way. We're about to do this really quickly. What I want to do now is introduce our crack producer and resident chocolate studious journalist. (laughs) She wants to be called Chuck. Somebody should call me and let me know if you agree if Chuck fits her or not. She was born Mercedes. But she wants to be called Chuck. Somebody call us. 323-965-1600. Let us know what you think of that. Uh, It's crazy right now. Why do you you want to be called Chuck? It fits me. Better than Chalk? C-H-O-C? Chalk. And uh, we need Jeff. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm filling in poorly for the funny man. Yeah, chalk. absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Chalk is cool. Like chocolate is, I think, chalk his is reference. Cool. Chuck is cute though. Okay. So how'd you, how'd you come up with Chuck? Um, I just did. I used to wear Chuck Taylors all the time. Okay, now it makes sense because I just did is not a good answer. Three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. Please call us. What is our first topic? on the agenda so our first topic is basically the government was funding researchers to use foster children to test out aids treatments what yeah and so the foster kids they didn't have any representation so they right, they're foster kids yeah. you don't belong to nobody they weren't being told like the side effects that could have on them or anything like that and a lot of them got sick and were having really really bad side effects and they didn't have any rep to let life. me guess most of the foster kids were black we could guess that. Or, or or Latino, maybe. Right? Yep. So where is the source for the story? It's from msnbc.com. Wow. Now, in what state or where was this happening? So or is this the, all over? No, it's kind of all over. So in, in the seven states that, it, that they were testing, it was Illinois, North Carolina, Colorado, Texas, Louisiana, Maryland, and New York. Wow. Mm-hmm. They were testing AIDS treatment. Mm-hmm. Let me on, get this on foster kids, children. Wait, wait, testing. Oh, they were testing a treatment. AIDS treatment. Treatments. So, are are these kids that already have AIDS, or is no, this a situation are, where they're introducing AIDS into this these children's body to see no, what the treatment? No, these are like was? healthy kids, and some of them have it, but they're just testing the treatment on them. So this might not necessarily be a bad thing. I mean, thus far, it hasn't proven to be good. It's more negative. A lot of them are getting sick and they can't handle the treatment. Wow. So So it hasn't turned out. Do they have anyone representing the children's rights? I mean, do these children even know that it's happening to them? Well, the funny thing, they've been doing it for like multiple decades without anyone really knowing or noticing. Um, but as of like recently, they did make it where the kids have to have a, a rep that knows a little bit about medicine and law to represent them. But they're reporting, MSNBC.com is reporting that the children's representatives aren't doing their job or some of the children aren't really getting the reps that they are legally supposed to have. So just without their permission, come here, let me try AZT. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's that's an AIDS, HIV treatment, AZT. Let's just try AZT on crack to see, you know, what the, the effects will be, right? Mm-hmm. Without any permission. And, and sometimes right. the children are seeing uh, adverse effects because of that. Right. Wow. Wow. Th- that seems morally wrong. I, I mean, it's, it seems awful to me. I mean, that to, to, to test kids uh, with new things without their permission and without an advocate. I mean, but I think the assumption is they're foster kids. They don't belong to anybody. So we don't really have to ask anybody. And that that's just an indication of corporate America. That's a loophole. Those kids represent a living loophole. Like, hey, they don't have representation. Let's just use them. And we can bypass asking somebody or we can bypass the moral question and just test on them to get the results we need. 
I mean, we know what the pharmaceutical industry is about in America, correct? I mean, you're a doctor. Talk to us about it. Talk to us about the pharmaceutical industry, well, doc. Um, Prescribe us something, why don't you? I think... Um, <laughs> Well, I, I think they're more part of the corporate world than they are more about, you know, really helping people. Uh, I mean, look, everybody, everybody has a bottom line to to survive. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, if a company isn't making money, it's not employing people. But what I take issue with is that everybody. Um, well, this is an interesting thing. I want to I want to ask our listeners and ask you. Do you know what the biggest double, what I think the biggest double standard is? What is life? it? Go ahead. Uh, I'll check everyone here. Uh, I think the biggest double standard is most people do not really feel badly about bending the truth or cutting a corner. Mm. But when it's done to them, they go ballistic. Absolutely. <laughs> Who agree? First off, who disagrees with that? Three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. I agree with that one hundred percent, because most people don't mind being manipulative, lying, taking advantage so that they can have the upper hand. But when the exact same thing happens to them, you know, it's oh God, all hell is broke loose. I'm a victim. I've been wronged. Right, I think right, that's right. I think that's a reality for most people. Uh, what do you think, Chuck? She's too young to know. Chuck, what do you I think? I think that as far as like morally, I think that they're doing it because people would first they would look at it and say, oh, that's so wrong. They don't have representation. But what if they did find like a cure? Then people would be like, oh, that's good. You know what I mean? So they're right. They're Those brave foster kids. <laughs> I don't you know. know. <laughs> I, I think people would. Find I'm getting it good flashbacks the around, you know, of Nazi Germany. You know, where they, with, ah. no, no, really, where, where they just did, they tested uh, on all kinds of people, all kinds of things, and um, I, you know, I think this is a different country. And, and uh, you know, there's a, there's a saying uh, that the measure. Uh, I think Gandhi said it. The, really, the measure of a civilization is how it treats those who are weakest in it. Mm. You know what? You know what I would like to do? Maybe Felicia could get this up for me because this is going to go into something else as well. And uh, George Carlin has a piece called American Bullshit. And a lot of times we get bullshitted by belief systems. Like, just to piggyback on what you just said about this country and what it stands for he brought up a great point George Carlin did about how although it says equal rights and inalienable rights and all of this and these people were slave owners white men right women couldn't vote Indians couldn't vote black people couldn't vote the only people that could vote were white men but they spoke you know eloquently and beautifully in the Constitution that spoke about equality so I believe, just like you pointed out earlier, in terms of people lying and manipulating for their own gain, but hating it when it comes back, I believe this country was built on hypocrisy in some degree. Yeah, it'd be interesting, all the people using these foster children uh, without really their permission or proper representation, what would be interesting is to reach out to those people and ask them, how would you feel about something being done to you? How would you feel about being tested for something without your permission? Be interesting to see. Uh, uh, and, and it might further medical science. And by the way, you actually should volunteer yours or your children because you're there, aren't you, to try to develop things. So why don't you offer up yourself or your children, inform your children, and say, hey, we're going to help the world be better before you, well, to piggyback on what Zoe said, before you offer up nobody's children. You, you, this is a great idea. What if it was like, remember the, the army? Remember before the draft, like you're going to get drafted regardless once you turn 18. What if it was like that? What if it was if you have a certain amount of kids, one of those children has to be used for the betterment of everybody. One of those kids have to be tested on. One of those kids have to be tested. What if it was like a prerequisite in the country we live in? You remember before yeah. the draft, it was like uh, when you turn 18, either you're going to college or you're going to one of the armed forces. 
There was not a lot of, nah, I don't want to do that. Remember, you could go to, Muhammad Ali went to jail. He was like, nah, I'm not going. Okay, well, if you don't go, you got to go to jail because that's part of your civil duty as an able-bodied man. Remember? What if it was, hey, if you got multiple children, say three, one of them got to be tested. What if that was a part of your American duty? Most Americans would be moving somewhere, I think. Somebody call us and tell us, 323-965-1600. Well, it's, it's all the same, but whatever happened with this idea of mandatory service after high school or college? So, you know, in Israel, they have mandatory service. Yes. You know, to help the uh, to the country or the community. And, and, and Well, most of the Israeli children, especially the young men, are soldiers. Right. <laughs> it's just right off the top. You're going to be a soldier. Because they're trying to protect those borders. Over yeah, and what about these things where they float these ideas where, well, why don't we have our politicians get the same health care coverage as uh, the people they're representing? Because you know, there's a real double standard there. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, let's do this really quickly. Do we have another story on top? If you want to chime in on this story, please call me at 323-965-1600. We are on the Zoe What Morning Show. Zoe, the doc, and Jeff Brown is on his way. Somebody call me right now, 323-965-1600. What is the next topic we have? So we have Wired Magazine. They obtained a U.S. Army document that basically said if people are whoever is frustrated with me. No, hold on to this topic. I have to wait for Jeff to come. (laughs) Oh, God. We got to wait for Jeff on this one. Okay. What's the next one? Digital addiction. This As a matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. I want to take a quick break. Do you have that George Carlin piece? Please. Okay, when we come back, I want to play this George Carlin piece. But we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to finish the topics. And then we're going to rattle through these topics. And then we're going to get into the discussion of okay. is God real or Jeff not. Jeff is here, so when we come back. All right, cool. We'll be back at 2.2. <laughs> 